This is Catholic 101 and I'm Father Dan. Today we're going to be talking about the RCIA or the Rite of Christian Initiation for Adults. It's an ancient rite in the church. Actually, it's one of the most ancient rites that we have in the Catholic Church because from the very beginning of the Catholic Church, we brought people into the body of Christ as adults. And so to receive the three sacraments of initiation, baptism, confirmation, and First Holy Communion, you had to be an adult because we didn't have infant baptism or really the way that we celebrate the sacraments now in the order that cradle Catholics receive the sacraments is very different how we do it today compared to the early church. And so the rite of Christian initiation for adults is really how all adults, all people, were brought into the church from the very beginning. And so the rites themselves are helping the person who wants to become Catholic or enter the body of Christ to journey together as a community, as the community of people who are looking to become Catholic. It journeys them into Christ's body when they receive the sacraments of initiation, generally at the Easter Vigil. And so many programs, like the one here at St. Edward, the parish where I'm the associate pastor, we begin in September, we finish in the springtime, depending on when Easter falls. And it's through that preparation period that a person goes through various steps and stages. They become catechumens, meaning that they're intentionally choosing to become a disciple of Jesus, that they're in an official process of becoming Catholic. Then there's different smaller rites leading us up to the celebration of the sacraments. We call them scrutinies, and they're opportunities for the people of God in that parish, as well as the clergy, to pray with and pray over those who are about to become Catholic. And so the rite of Christian initiation, excuse me, it's, it's hard to say really fast sometimes. So the rite of Christian initiation for adults while it is an ancient and beautiful rite, it's a way of accompanying and journeying with a group of people who are looking to become members of the body of Christ, ultimately ending with receiving some or all of the sacraments of initiation. So RCIA is not just open to people who haven't been baptized yet. You can be baptized in another Protestant Christian faith and still come and be in the RCIA, RCIA process and then just receive the sacraments of confirmation and First Holy Communion. And so baptism is uh, a very broad sacrament in that a lot of people have received baptism and it's a valid baptism even if they're not Catholic. And so many Protestant churches will baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They baptize in the name of the Trinity. And we as Catholics accept that baptism. So you don't have to be baptized in a Catholic church. You just have to be baptized in the name of the Blessed Trinity. So those who may have been baptized in the name of the Creator, Redeemer, Sanctifier, or of Mother Earth, uh, Sister Moon, Brother Son, or whatever, those aren't real baptisms because those aren't real gods. Those aren't deities. But to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit in the name of the Trinity, that is a valid baptism. And so you won't need to be baptized again because we only believe in one baptism, but you would receive then the sacraments of confirmation and First Holy Communion. And then RCA obviously is open to those who haven't been baptized, who grew up with no faith at all or, or just grew up outside of the Christian faith, and then you can receive all three sacraments of initiation. And so if you've been discerning and thinking about becoming Catholic for a long time or or joining the church, or even just completing your sacraments of initiation. Maybe you were baptized Catholic and never stepped foot in a church again since your baptism. Please come and check out your local parish's RCIA program. See when they start meeting, join them. And to attend an RCIA session doesn't mean you're signing on the dotted line and you have to get baptized or confirmed that Easter. If you're still on a journey, then Walk that journey, but walk it with those who want to help you and they want to journey with you in this great uh, discernment process of becoming Catholic. 
And so know that uh, you're, you're in my prayers and that I'm praying for all those discerning to enter the church, especially this upcoming year uh, when many parishes begin their programs to help those go through the rites of Christian, Christian initiation for adults. May God continue to bless you all.